love them. Day five, level three, uh, righteous tiger qigong. Again, another kimono. I learned, I learned to not wear waves to summon any type of tsunami at the river, but I'm, I'm now I'm kind of wearing like some kind of sharp jaws mountain thing, and then. Over here we have some psychedelic tie-dye and then a psychedelic wolf. Eating the moon, howling at the moon. Okay, so into the five animals again and with visual and verbal instruction. We are close to the path, this is why they catch the sadly. So preparing, so harmonize chi. Feet hips width apart and palms up. Lifting up onto the toes and then lowering hands and lowering into the heels. Into the first animal, the tiger. Make fists, follow the hands up at the, hand, at the face, the hands open, and then grab and pull down. So moving down grab make a really tight fist inhale look up open palms and grabbing and pulling down so the breathing here is when you uh, grab this is that strong active inhale coming up looking up active inhale and pulling down so this is the tiger is for the liver chi liver energy now moving into tiger two, we're gonna lift up. So the liver is the great regulator of energy. Now come forward, and now this is where we'll pounce side to side. So we're coming up, looking up. Now shift your weight to your right leg, and then left heel out. Lifting up, and now go to the middle. The great regulator of energy, so lots of energy and then slowly kind of like recoiling, coming up and to your right, lifting, coming up, going to the, you go to the middle in between. So when our liver chi gets um, too, too active, it rises up and it can cause excess energy above our diaphragm, which can lead to headaches, can lead to dizziness, ringing in your ears. Uh, and when our liver chi gets stuck and not moving, then it can lead to things like depression and fixed uh, pain or organ um, malfunction, not functioning at its highest. Okay, go into the middle and lifting. So as you're doing this, intend for there to be smooth flow of chi, regulated flow of chi. This will help your cycles, the sleep-wake cycle, energy cycles, hunger is a cycle, appetite, moods, and then longer cycles, menstrual cycles, and aging process. Good. So that's the tiger. Liver is balanced, happy, Ready for the day. Balance G, lifting up, and then palms down, lower, heels down. Preparing for the deer. So with our, our weight shift, you shift weight, shift it over to your left, make your deer horns, step 45 degrees out, and the foot points 45, and we turn back. You're turning your head, you're trying to look towards that back heel. And feel free to watch this several times to maybe just get the, the first two pieces of it. Shift weight over to your right, step with the leg, and you can always just keep your hands on your hips and turn. The deer antlers are bonus. Really feeling the waist turning. So shift weight back, arms coming around. So weight shifts over to the left, step with your right, show you from the side here weight shift and then step and turn 
back. So you're aiming to point your fingers back behind you and you're looking back behind you. Really just wanted to show you that cool wolf on the back of the kimono. Shift back, hands come around, shift over, and now step with the other foot and coming around. It's all about the weight shift. The weight is predominantly on the front leg. Now turn the body back front, shift weight back. That's gonna tell your arms to go up and over and shifting other side. Okay, I'll show you from straight on again. So hands will shift over to the weight shift. Arms lift, same leg you put the weight in. Shifting side to side with the, the weight shift shows you where your arms need to go. Okay, so shift the weight, step with your right foot out and shift the weight forward, forward, then turn. Really feel the twist in your waist. This is for our kidneys and for our spine. Kidneys relate to the bones of our body. Turn back and shift back, arms up and over. And now you shift right foot steps over and left foot will step out and spin around. The bones of our body hold the bone marrow. So this is correlated to really immunity in building a lot of, um, a lot of blood. Kidneys wouldn't be the direct link to blood uh, it's more of a, a spleen thing but immunity in building um, essence you know your essence of energy now into deer two four front stance now back stance my hands are doing the deer antler thing and then forward stance with a little hooves get ready to prance prance good <laughs> prance stomp get going get this day going step forward Lean back, so more weight into the back leg. And then forward again. Lean back, prance. Okay, from the side, show you from the side. So, step it forward, reach forward, flex the wrist. Shift back, back of the hands towards one another, so that you're getting that weight into the back leg. Heel can be up or forward. Forward again to front stance, back prance. Step forward, reach forward. Lean weight into the back. And forward again, shift weight back, prance it out. Good. Very good. That was deer two. So kidney energy, we can go on and on about kidney energy, but there's that left and right kidney connection that we talk about in the form quite a bit. Getting ready to go into the bear. This is what your bear, your bear paws are doing. They're making a, it's not a fist, it's more of a circle. So we're going to go in the direction of your digestion first. So coming up your right, really um, work on rotating going as far back as, as comfortable and forward and then switch the other side coming around Go three times in each direction good getting ready for bear two so the reason why there's one and two of these exercises if you were wondering is that the one and the two have to do with the yin and the yang elements of our of the organs themselves. And stepping. So it's this bare stomp. Remember that back foot gets brought up with the leg and swinging the arms. So really work to swing at the waist. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Uh, the spleen is represented with all of this bare energy, really how you absorb nutrients and how you transfer those nutrients around the body. So let's center in between. 
coming up, lifting up, and then palms down, lower down. Getting ready for the monkey. So learn the new hand gesture with the, with the thumb in and then your fingers kind of bring it around. So lift up, shoulders up, turn the head, you're up onto the toes. Come back, lower heels, good. Turning, turn back, and lower down. So snatching up and grabbing that up and turning your head and lower down. And when you lower the shoulders, pull the shoulders down. They get pulled down with those strong mid-back muscles. And side to side turning. And lifting up, lift onto the toes, bring your little paws together, your monkey paws. And lower down, coming up. Turn the head easily. With the shoulders up like that, it's real obvious if you're turning your chest. You just want to turn the head only. Okay, preparing for monkey two. So this is all about our front stance, back stance. So front stance, back stance, empty stance. So this is empty stance. That, and then back stance, shift back, and then you're into empty stance again. So looking for this weight shift. Step, front stance, and grab the fruit. Shift weight back to the back leg, and you're in empty stance again, and you eat the fruit. Step back, I'll be back with your left leg, and then into empty stance, turn, and then step, and grab. And pull back, back into empty stance, weight into your left leg. So, stepping back, kind of, kind of bouncing just to show you where the weight is is the weights in that back leg and then turning stepping with your left foot and grab with your right hand and bring back eat the fruit step back other leg comes together empty stance turn and grab zig is definitely picking up on the mischievous monkey stealing Stealing stuff, stealing fruit. Okay, so let's work with this empty stance. You're in, be in your left leg. Step back, just do the legs. And forward, and then into empty again. Step back. All right, Zig, we'll just play like a monkey. We'll just do some monkey dancing. Even Benny's gonna get involved here. Okay. So that step back, shift back. Back stance, all the weight in here, and then bring the foot with it. So easier to be lifting legs feet rather if you don't have as much weight in the foot when you the one you're trying to lift and center in between and down preparing for the heron monkey got the dogs all riled up and now wait into your right leg lift your left leg behind it's like he's pushing me over <laughs> okay lifting up arms come down wait into your right lift left leg behind use that back foot as a kickstand if you need to shift weight into left lift up and we're looking under the hands and then lift your right leg arm straight shift weight shift weight to right lift left and arms are straight Coming up 
shift weight to the left and lift the right leg behind, reach back. Coming up, we'll do one more time each side, lift left, and lifting. Moving into Heron 2, lift knee, your hands will lift halfway, lift the knee up, lower leg, lower hands, and then knee, same, and then arms up, backs of the hands touch. Shift the weight, weight's gonna shift over to your right. First lift halfway, lower down, then lifting all the way up. Put that left foot down, shift weight. So if you need to do this just with your hands on your hips and really focus with the weight shift and the balance, I recommend that. Uh, rather than trying to uh, keep your balance with the with the arms or do one arm, have one hand on you know the side of the couch or something. And a little remember that straight leg, the lifting leg, um, the standing leg rather, keep that bent a little bit let that have a little bit more of a chance to adjust with when you're moving your arms around head touches sky feet stand on earth body relaxes mind expands the mind is clear attitude is humble think space think body the entire body is harmonized with chi begin to practice flex the palms Moving the hands out and pulling back. And moving them out and pulling back. And moving from the shoulder, remember, swinging like a pendulum. And gathering chi, bringing arms around the front. Now you're pouring chi into Dantian, refilling, recharging. Moving the hands around and then pouring, focusing chi to the low back, Ming Men, gate of life. Lifting up to Da Bao, deliver chi, and then moving arms in front, arms are straight, deliver chi to Yin Tong. Turn the palms up, moving the arms out, forming a straight line, and then pour chi down. Give the energy back to the earth. Turn palms up, and up we go. Palms will come together and down the midline. At the heart, point fingers forward and straighten arms. Make a triangle, separate the palms and then flex the wrist, separate the triangle. And here we give and receive push and pull. So intending for there to be harmony within your own body giving and receiving, watching for any type of negative self-talk through the day. That is definitely not harmony. And correcting that, being gentle with yourself, opening and closing now, receiving energy from the universe, accepting it, giving it freely, and then moving out, forming a straight line. And push... Pull. Remember, it's our shoulder blades pulling together that will extend and create more length uh, for the push and the pull. And lifting up and down. So the first step of harmony within yourself is to watch for your self-awareness and being more kind to yourself. Turn palms up and pour Chi into Ba Hui. 100 Yang meeting points. So, what does that mean? Yang is functionality, it's energy, unlimited, it's unencumbered energy, totally liberated energy. Now you're washing down the body, coming down, washing through the chest, and now bringing fingertips to, to the Dantian. Move around, deliver Chi to Ming Men. Ask for more willpower. Ask for stronger sense of free will. Move forward, down, back, and up. The leg turbine 
More important to keep your legs together, remember, than reach further down. The, the down will happen. The in needs to happen first. And come up the front of the legs. Legs are strong. Rolling up. And standing the liver chi to the dantian. And arms come by our sides. And moving out. Up and out with the hands. Push and pull, push, and pull, give, and receive, turn palms up, or no, not yet, you're going to come in, horizontal, collect chi, in and out three times, close and open, and moving forward with the hands, the hands will be shoulder width apart, push, pull, push, pull, big shoulder roll, check back in with your legs, are they strong and together, low back not too arched, nice and broad, down with the tailbone, up and down three times, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, turn palms up, and lifting chi overhead, and pouring chi into top of the head. When the hands float down, bring the fingertips to yin tong. Focus on, focus on your focus. Focus on your attention. And then bring around to the back of your head. Deliver chi to use in, reach in between the shoulder blades. And up under the arms, in between the shoulder blades. Boosting your immunity. Give yourself a self hug. At da bao. Take a little stop at Ming Men. Check in with the gate of life. Hands will move around. Deliver chi to Dantian. Filling the Dantian. Recharging. And then we move down the front of the legs. Rolling down. Making yourself as small as you possibly can. Tuck the chin. Knees together. Forward, down, back and up. Forward, down, back and up. Three times. If you need to take a little longer with that, do so. If you need to hold on to something do so. Now coming up the backs of the legs, rolling up, deliver chi to Ming Man. And now coming around, deliver chi, recharge the lower energy center, and then arms by our sides. Slowly lifting arms up to 45 degrees and straight up and then pouring chi into Ba Hui. When the hands float down through the temples and ears, the sides of the throat, and then palms are forward. Right arm forward, reaching forward. Remember, keep the legs strong and together and wrap your body around your spine. Coming around and then finding Chi Hu with the middle finger and left arm forward. And coming around. Three breaths here, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Little extra push in when you breathe in. It's like getting ready for the day. <clears throat> Roll the wrists, palms together. Stretch up, reach up as high as you can. If you want more up, push more down. Stand into the ground. And pulling down. Pull the chi down and moving forward. Bend the elbows, deliver chi. And reaching back, and coming around. Women right hand first, men left hand first. Thank yourself for making time for this. Some slow, even, deep breaths. And thank you for joining me. Thank you to my teachers. And have a great friggin' day.